River, coastal, and marine fisheries played a very important role in shaping the heritage, culture, and economy of Down East Maine. Alewives and bluebacks are two of the many species that help to shape the history of this area. Alewives and bluebacks are collectively referred to as river herring. Alewives are the more common of the two in Down East Maine, and locals often use the term alewives to refer to both species. They are both anadromous fish, which means that they spend most of their adult lives at sea, but return to fresh water to spawn. Great numbers of river herring return to Down East Maine's ponds, streams, and rivers each spring. In doing so, they provide a seasonal bounty of food for many predators in addition to supporting commercial, recreational, and sustenance fisheries. This, this fish is important. It doesn't, it's not just important to people. It feeds everything. It's called the fish that feeds all. And it feeds everything from the little tiny bacteria in the water and along the streams to eagles and ospreys and bear, mink, whatever. There's a lot of different animals that you know, rely on the fish. Human impacts have taken their toll on alewife and blueback populations. Though humans have harvested these species in Down East Maine for centuries, it was not until dams were built on many rivers that their populations suffered major declines. Dams powered industries that were important drivers of economic and population growth in Maine, but progress did not come without environmental costs. You know, if you close off an artery or a vein and complain about blood flow, it's like our rivers. When, when you block off those rivers, it's going to impact everything, every animal out there from the eagles to the um, you know, marine mammals to the otters and, and bears, you name it. And um, if, if we have a good population of uh, alewives, then it feeds everything else, including the ground fish, you know, pollock, mm -hmm. haddock, and, and uh, codfish. So, you know, it's, it's all connected. It's mm -hmm. all interconnected. The rivers have evolved over hundreds of thousands of years to flow and have the fish go up and down. And I think that once you start damming them up, um, that prevents those fish from going up and down the rivers. And it's a, it's a huge obstacle for them, for them. And there's been times that some fishways, they've been said, that it's been said that although you have a fishway there, only 10% of the fish actually make it above the dam, as opposed to if there was no dam there you virtually have 100% making it up there. Alewife and blueback populations in Down East Maine face many threats, but harvesters, managers, and other dedicated community members are working to restore and maintain healthy fish populations in their local rivers. I think one of the big things that, that really helps these fish out is the fact that they don't have to beat themselves to get to their spawning ground. Okay. Uh, we, we catch them here fairly close to the ocean, and it's an easy run from there to here, and we truck them around two dams, and a total run of probably three or four miles, and when they go into the Graham Lake, they're, they're ready to go. Mostly I try to make sure they can survive. That's my primary work, is to, you know, find where the blockages are and help them get past them. Like if a fishway is uh, blocked, uh, then I would fix the baffle or whatever it takes to get that fishway to work. Sure. If we don't clean the beaver dam, they can't get up. I've seen them stick themselves in the beaver dam just like two things. Mm -hmm. They'll kill themselves trying to get up there. And you know, when it happened here, you know, people just, when they had it, the town had it closed, they thought they were doing a good thing to build the brook back up. But if you're not digging the dam out, you're just you're killing them. They can't make it to pond and spawn. They're, they're not gonna. They're not gonna survive. I took it in my own effort to go dig the dams out and uh, make sure the fish made it, and uh, started in fishing. And so I, I let an amount of fish to go up the brook. And four years, five years later, we realized it wasn't enough. So the next round, we let a lot more fish go. And it, and I've been fishing it like almost four cycles or three cycles now. And now we've got a good bunch of fish going, 500 to 700 bushels going up in the pond. With every brook that, that people are taking care of, it, the, the, it, it, the harvest is a building, no question about it. 
Because we're doing it right now. Since I've been doing it, which I started in 06, every year has gotten better. There's been more. And this year is like the best year of all. And I have let more up because I haven't been able to sell them because the market flooded. So there's even more going up than normal. So it's looking like the industry is just flourishing for me. In the past, we've had such a run of fish that we've, we've built up quite a clientele of fishermen. Uh, they'll come from a long ways to get fish. They brought up actually a lot of business into the town. And uh, of course the town gets a, you know, a percentage of its catch. So mm -hmm. between the two, it's, it hasn't hurt the economy around here a bit. For me, it's a big part of my income for the year. And for the town, you know, they get a percentage and it's a pretty substantial thing for them. I think they put it towards the school budget or whatever. And then, you know, the fishermen around, a lot of them, there's not a lot of bait around this time of year, so it's great for them to get all the lobster bait. For hard shells in the spring of the year, they say this is the best bait you can get. You know, it helps their catch and everything. LRs and Bluebacks are not just important for the economy of Down East Maine, but also for the cultural identity of this area. The tribe has come to this uh, stream uh, at this location to harvest alewives for thousands of years. My work that I'm doing currently or with alewives and river restoration is to make sure that the environment is capable of holding those resources for the future generations to be able to access and to survive off them. That is really central to our continued survival. Culturally, spiritually, and physically. The restoration of a species like the alewife actually works toward helping the restoration of other species. This is very important. It's, it's critical. If, if we're really serious about restoring this river system, it has to start with that.